Hello everyone, welcome to my new video, and as usual, smiles. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get the native application of Postman up and running on your Chromebook. As you can see, it's just like the conventional uh, uh, Postman that you would see on your Mac or Windows. So I'm going to be showing you how to get this installed on your Chromebook. As you may know, the uh, Postman extension on Chrome is already deprecated and we've been asked to uh, upgrade to the Postman native app to access a whole lot of features. So I'm going to be showing you not how to install the Postman uh, Chrome extension but how to install the actual uh, Postman application on your Chromebook. So to get started, let's jump right into it. As you can see now, I'm on my desktop browser. I'm going to navigate to the Postman uh, download page. I'm just going to type download Postman on Google and basically the first page that pops up I'm gonna hit on it and automatically it should be able to pop out the actual download link needed for my uh, system as you can see Linux uh, 64 bits so all you need to do is to just hit the download link and once the download is complete you can move on to the downloads page so once the postman is downloaded, you need to make sure that you have Linux uh, active in your on your Chromebook. And then that means you need to go to your home screen and search for terminal. And you need to install Linux. If you don't already have it installed, you just need to go to manage, and then go to Linux development environment. And then once you're here, if you're not downloaded it, you could just go ahead and install through. So for mine, I already have it installed, so I'm just going to click on the penguin. So what I need to do is first, before uh, going to the terminal, is to move this to my Linux folder, which is right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop the Postman to the Linux folder. So once we have the Postman on the Linux uh, folder, we can go ahead and start running some code. Before we start writing some code, we would uh, want to get the name of the Postman application. So let's uh, give it a shorter name just to make our works easier. We could uh, delete some of this and just say Postman uh, Linux. And I'm just going to copy this. Once that is copied, we can now move to the terminal. Knowing that uh, the postman is on the root directory of the Linux. We could run this uh, code right here. But if it's not, let's say if it was on a different folder, say code, we would have to move the CD to the to the folder code in order to uh, access the file. But since it's on the root directory, we could do it here immediately. So the code is just star dash x vf. Then we're going to paste in the name of the zip file. Just right, right click and you have it. Then just push enter and it's going to load out the resources. As you can see, we already have Postman right here. And it loads out every resource that is required to run a Postman on your Chromebook. Once everything is done loading up, the next thing is to install some libraries. Now, you need to note, this is just the code I copied online, so I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm going to right click, and it's just going to install a library with this name, hit enter. And once the library is done installing, congrats, you've got Postman installed on your Chromebook. With just these few commands, go into the root directory apps and then Postman, if I, you hit enter, you should be able to see the uh, Postman GUI pop up on your screen then you can go ahead to sign in or create an account as you may right now in order to launch the postman with the icon on your chromebook you need to do a little bit few more of some setups so we're gonna go back and exit by saying ctrl c i'm just gonna clear the screen a bit what we need to do are quite few so right here on the Linux folder, we're going to go to the 
uh, three dotted icons on the top right corner of the screen and we're looking for show hidden files once we click on that we should be able to see some uh, folders and files pop out what we're looking for is dot local i'm gonna open dot local just in case if you don't have dot local you can easily create one and just name it dot local but since i do have one i don't really need such so we're gonna open dot local if you don't see the share folder all you need to do again is to create a new folder and name it share we're gonna open share and right in the share folder we should uh, open another folder called applications and right here as you can see there is nothing named applications so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the folder name it applications right in the applications we want to open any text editor because we'll be writing in a few codes I'm gonna be using the text uh, extension from Chrome OS I'm gonna be saving it immediately I'm gonna be saving it right in the uh, applications folder we just created so again I'm gonna show hidden folders go to dot locals share and then application and what I want to save this file with I want to save it with postman.desktop this is gonna allow us to be able to view the icon uh, just like our just like how we view uh, the normal applications on our Chromebook so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna copy the code and paste I'll be leaving it, uh, the code right on the description so that is just something I, I got from online it's not something to hit your head about but it would uh, give you the capacity to run your postman so I'm gonna hit Control V and what you're looking for actually here is simple the only thing you need to change is the username you need to put your username the username of your Chromebook if you are not aware of your Chromebook's username all you need to do is to go back to the terminal and hit the buttons PWD and it's gonna show you home slash smiles and what I'm looking for is smiles so I'm gonna uh, change this because that is the name of my Chromebook I'm gonna go again smiles and I'm gonna save that and exit and once that is saved if we go back to the menu we should be able to see postman if we look at the Linux applications as you can see is a new app and it's postman once I click on it I should be able to see postman running on my system and that is how you get postman installed on your Chromebook. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. As usual, smiles.